ladies welcome back to my channel my name is faith if you are new here be sure to like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications and stay connected on all of my social media but in today's video um i asked you guys to ask me some questions to do some topics on instagram so i'm basically just going to be getting ready uh showing you guys my quick no foundation beat can you tell a little summer beat as well as answering the questions so let's hop right into the video okay so pretty much i start off um my eyebrows are already done i just use the anastasia beverly hills uh the pencil and then i moisturize my face with pods um so i'll have everything listed down below it's not a makeup tutorial i'm just showing y'all what i do to get a real quick cute beat and we're gonna answer some questions Whew. But I think I just said it. Everything could be down below. So let's get into these questions. I asked you guys some questions on my Instagram. If you're not following, make sure y'all tap in. The post has only been up for like three hours, I think. But we just go answer what we got. Just so I can get this video on the road, okay? So, um, sure, I guess we're just going to dive right into it. Um, let's go. Uh, so the first question is, are you dating any celebrities or athletes? And that is just like, dang, that's so intense. So nosy, baby. Not quit. But, um, currently, I am <laughs> currently I am um we're gonna keep it brief currently yes um next question is are you one of G school models for good um so no I'm not um I haven't signed a contract or anything like that. So, am I a G school model for good? The answer is no. But baby, anytime I get that call, anytime I get any um, message from any like boutique brand, um, it's a page called ATL Talent where I uh, send in um, it's a place called ATL Talent and TNZ Agency or TMZ Agency, one of them that um, I'll put in my application if they have anything open for uh, brand opportunities, video shoot opportunities, anything like that. So um, I know a lot of people ask me, like, you know, how do I get in some of uh, those rooms or some of those opportunities? And the answer is ATL Talent on Instagram or TNZ agency and i pretty much just have on my uh, post notifications that's not for g school that's just for like you know anything extra but um yeah somebody asks how did you start dating a millionaire think that's crazy but um pretty much my job like um my job i work at a lounge here in Atlanta and of course everybody be in Atlanta y'all like Atlanta has professional teams um Atlanta has a lot of celebrities live in Atlanta a lot of influencers content creators live in Atlanta so you're bound to like see them often especially when you work in one of those um lounges so yeah uh pretty much that's how I started dating. Um, I don't know. That sounds so weird. That's how I started dating millionaires. Like, they come to my job. And I'm not saying that I give everybody a chance. But um, if I like somebody vibe, just like how you would regularly date somebody, that's just pretty much how it be. Now, I will say be careful because some people pose as they got it and they don't although anybody pockets is none of your business but 
I'm just saying. Be careful. <laughs> um, who does your hair? They slay your ish purr, baby. Um, so I pretty much go to Deja Styles on Instagram. Um, that's my girl, and I'm so happy I found a uh, hair stylist here in Atlanta. Actually, she's from Cincinnati, but I didn't start going to her until um, she moved here. So, girl, Deja Styles. She understands the assignment every time. So that's pretty much who I've been going to. Um, I think it's very important to stick to like one person or like one person for each category of styles. Um, just so you're not chair hopping. Like, girl, I used to chair hop like crazy when I first moved to Atlanta. Um, I had so many people play in my freaking hair. And I wasn't, like the sleigh wasn't consistent. Like, and you can tell on my pictures. So, um... Definitely Deja Styles. I recommend her. She's the bomb.com. She slay it. She get you right. And she never miss. Um, how do you come up with your outfits? So pretty much um I get inspiration. And like uh you know there's like um there's pages where there's like outfits that's already made up. Like, um, let me see if I can find one so I can show y'all. I'll just give you an example. Okay, so for instance, this one is called the Babe's House. So like this. See, that's the outfit. It's pretty much already put together. And it's flat. Like, this is something I would wear. So, usually, I get inspiration from pages like this. And I recreate the outfit. So, say if, say I got camo shorts. Maybe I got the dupe of these Balenciagas. They got them on, like, Public Desire and Ego Official. Um, say, instead of a diesel shirt, I get a shirt that's like this. But maybe you got, like, some words on it. Um, and I just kind of accessorize it myself, but the main, the main one, two, three is like the shirt, the shorts with the heels. Even if I don't do camo shorts, maybe I'll do leather shorts with a shirt and those heels. Like I, I use pages like this and I just like come up with my own thing. Um, sometimes I follow it word from word. Like I follow it item from item, but that's pretty much how I come up with my outfits. Um. And as I style it, so I use the app Bass Art, B A B A Z A A R T, and that's pretty much where I put them together. So I make it look like what I just showed y'all. So for instance, uh, let me show y'all. I'll show y'all this. So I use this, and I pretty much put everything together and just go from there i asked my sister like sometimes when the items come that's when i finish it so i pretty much put together the bottom the top and like the shoe maybe even the bag and then when it comes that's when i pretty much accessorize it and get whatever else i need to complete the fit so yeah that's how i do it i know a lot of people was asking like do i style do i offer style and services um no i don't currently but i think Eventually, I feel like me and my sister should, like, you know, create a style page and offer styling services because, baby, we serve, okay? We serve any given day, time, place. Like, we just really, we really put that thing on. And my sister, like, she can style, style. I can style based upon, like, my, um, like, I have a bias. You know, if it ain't street chic. I get real, you know, confused. But my sister, she pretty much can put everything together. Me, I turn like a real classy outfit to try to somehow make it like edgy, you know. But that's just like my style. I'm kind of, I have like a bias eye. I would say. Are you a full-time influencer? So currently, no, I am not. Um, I do still work. Like I said, I work at a lounge. Um, 
I take modeling bookings. Um, yeah, I take modeling bookings. Um, I haven't been consistent on YouTube, if y'all haven't noticed. And I sincerely apologize. I was just in a space where, like, well, one, it was, like, some things going on with my family. And two, I just, after I came back from vacation, I just wasn't, like, I'm not even gonna say ideas weren't weren't flowing. I just couldn't put like two to two and two together. Like I I make a video and then I won't like like I won't like how it come out. So I was just kinda in a space where it's just like I'm creating but I'm not liking what I'm creating. So I'm not a full time influencer. That is one of my goals, but I'm just kinda like well, I know I shouldn't think about this and y'all shouldn't think about this, but it's like, you know, when a market, when something gets like oversaturated, oversaturated, it's kind of like discouraging to feel like, you know, you still can become a full time influencer when there's so many people trying to do the same thing. I'm not saying that's true. That That's not true, guys. Apple came out. Android came out. Samsung came out. Google came out with their own phone, like, so, I feel like nothing can ever be too oversaturated, like, there's always a place for you, but what I'm saying is, for me, it's kind of discouraging, discouraging to, like, continue making content when everybody's doing it, like, I just, I'm the type of person, I hate jumping on bandwagons, like, I hate doing what everybody else is doing. I hate doing what everybody else is doing, but it's just kind of like nobody was, nobody's never, nobody is ever, nobody never. Hmm. There's never an original person. Like, there's never an original person who created this. Like, if you feel like you started a trend, I'm pretty sure five years ago, ten years ago, there was somebody that really started it. And before them, I'm pretty sure there was somebody that really started it. So it's just like, that's just kind of how the world works. Like everything is a cycle. Everything repeats itself. So it's just like, you're never going to be the only person doing something. But you're your unique self. So whatever you have in you or whatever your sprinkle and cherry on the top is, is what makes you different and what makes you stand out. So, um... You know, I be trying to break myself out of that uh, mindset because it's very unhealthy. So, yeah, if, if you feel like that, just remember that you have something you like. God has placed something unique in you. Nobody had nobody, even twins don't have the same DNA. So God placed something special in you. Do twins have the same DNA? I'm not sure. But what I'm saying is God placed something special in you so don't ever feel like you don't have something to offer in a specific field whether that's being a doctor whether that's being a content creator whether that's being a model whether that's being a singer a rapper an actress an actor like whatever it is you offer your special one too so thanks for coming to my ted talk and i'll quit um do you have any advice for someone who wants to do what you do? You are that girl, period. So I pretty much just went into that. Just just do it. Just do it. Be consistent. And when you do it, like don't hold back. And stay true to you. Like, stay true to you. I I hear that message so many times from people. I hear it from looking at, I don't know if y'all believe in angel numbers, but angel numbers is just like, stay true to you, always. Stay true to you. Whether that means it might take longer or whether that means the outcome of a situation doesn't happen like you want it to, like, just stay true to you. You got that unique little piece that can add to something. Don't even try to be somebody else. Don't try to recreate somebody else. Like, just be you. It's in there. It's in there, baby. Um, do you want kids? I definitely want kids. 
Ideally, I want four, but I don't know. We'll see how God works in my life. Um, but I'm just not in a rush. Honestly, recently, I'll just be real honest. Baby has been like in my mind. I don't know why. Because I know like I'm not ready. I don't want that for me right now. But for some reason, it's just been heavy on my mind. But I do want kitties. And I just, I'm excited to see like when God places them in my life. So, that's that. Um, ATL living the good and the bad. So, I actually have a video. Um, it's called Misconceptions of ATL. I'll plug it right here. It's actually doing really well. And people, there was a lot of people that um, left feedback that related to it. That I answered like a lot of their questions, um, their concerns with it. So, definitely check out that video. But, um, overall, one ATO good is I'm going to say <coughs> the networking opportunities, which is why a lot of people move down here, which is why I moved down here. But I'm going to say, this is a bad, is that, you know, you got to learn, you got to know, you got to know how to use it. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yes, there's a, a ton of networking opportunities, entrepreneurship opportunities, but you just got to know how to use it. Just don't get sucked in into what you think a woman or what you think a man of ATO does and look like. Actually be that in real life. So, yeah, but like I said, I'm going to plug the video so you can take a look at that, but... Um, I really dive into like the real, the real tea that people don't talk about. Okay. Are you stuck up? That is so funny, but no, I'm not stuck up at all. Now, I'm not going to say like I walk around, hi, like I don't walk around like that, but you know, I do walk around like super, I look serious. Like I just be on some. You know, like, I'm chilling. But um, once I get to know somebody or once you even open up a conversation with me, like, it goes from there. You really see my personality. But when they say don't judge a book by, by a cover, when it come to me, don't judge and not quit. But, um, no, I'm real. I'm really chill. Like, I'm really, am I laid back? I don't think I'm laid back. I'm really lit, but... Like I said, I don't come off like that um, when a conversation open or if I'm out with my friends or family or something like that, like you'll see that. But I'm definitely just me. Definitely just that girl. I know this looks so crazy. It's just heavy on trust the process, baby girl. Hold on, let me rinse this again. Okay. Um, continue on. What's your next collab? Um, honestly, currently, I don't know. I have some pictures that I gotta post for Pretty Little Thing. Um, other than that, I don't know, girl. I'm just rolling with the punches. I'm just rolling. And I just continue to um, be grateful and continue to pray for brands by name to collab and to work with, to have the opportunity to work with. But it also comes with like me being consistent on my social media platforms. How can you expect a brand to want to collab with you if you're not even putting out content? So, one thing I'm always 
one thing I am always is honest and true to myself. I'm going to be my biggest critic every time. when do you know when you need a new beauty blender because I think I need a new one this ain't doing what it's supposed to do me this and I myself I'm currently looking for a mentor I think I got one my aunt but um honestly I'm not in a place to like mentor anybody I kind of use my YouTube as a platform to kind of be a mentor to um tell you guys like my experience and you know give my advice and how you can move differently and things like that but honestly like as a one-on-one -on -one mentor I'm just not ready um I know it looks like I've or I have came far from where I've, I've came far. Like I've accomplished a ton of things um, that I couldn't imagine to accomplish, especially at 22. But right now I'm still learning. And I just feel like I would be, I would be very much like, um, not even a hypocrite. Like I would be very much, I'm trying to use another word, not perfect, but. I would very much be leading y'all in the wrong direction because I haven't even figured out a good system for myself. Like, I'm still trying to figure out how I can pick myself up. So, um, I would love to mentor you guys, um, but continue to subscribe to my channel, to turn on your post notifications, and uh, really just get my mentorship from my videos that I post and just inspiration from what I accomplish and um how i continue to show up in the world and for myself and continuing to become the woman that i want to be and that god has created me to be so that's like my biggest advice for that but i'm about to do my hair i'm gonna come back on here and close out the video thank you guys so much for watching this video again my name is faith make sure you guys like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications i hope um, y'all try this nice, quick, cute beat. You can never go wrong, baby. It's too hot for that all of that foundation. And sometimes you just don't be having time. And it's literally 30 minutes or less, like, real quick. So, if you guys try this quick beat, leave a comment down below. Tag me on Instagram. Do all of that. Um, and again, thank you for watching. If you guys want to see any specific videos, make sure y'all leave them down below. I hope I got to answer the questions that y'all wanted. Be sure again to follow me on Instagram so you guys don't miss when I open the floor to ask these questions. So yeah, see y'all in the next one.